Now for the hyperdrosis, what are the other treatment options for that? So there's um, Botox, which can be injected in the hands, the feet, the underarms. Mm -hmm. um, there's oral medications. Um, there's topical applications, which generally don't work that great and have some side effects. They can be a little bit irritating. Um, there's new medication that are wipes that just came out. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the drawbacks, I mean, there are many therapies, is um, that the insurance won't is now not covering right. our Botox, which is really frustrating because it is a good treatment, but it's also very Absolutely. painful for kiddos, you know, mm -hmm. to put it in their hands. And we have laughing gas and some other ways to help. Mm -hmm. um, but the Miradry, you know, I have a slide when I lecture. I'm like, it's medicine at its best. I think best. you brought some did, slides from Miradry that we can show. Okay. Yeah. So again, please go ahead. Yeah, I always say it's medicine at its best. We have a medical condition. We do one treatment, and for most patients, like I think 90 percent. Yeah. It's cured, you never okay. sweat again. Some people need a second. So okay. yeah, this is. Um, this is a device that's used yeah. for the mirror dry. And as we're seeing this patient, it's their un uh, like underarm. It's underarm, yeah. okay. And how many sessions of this treatment do are so you doing? One to two. Just one to two? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the procedure in itself, how long does it take? About an hour. An hour. Yeah, and okay. patients are gonna be a little swollen, a little sore, and mm -hmm. they'll have some numbness in the area, but the results are, like I mentioned, immediate. So after right. the treatment, they won't be sweating at all.